Nearly 200 health care workers are suing their employers and the federal government. The suit claims that the vaccine mandate is violating their rights. For many, the deadline is October 1st, which is this Friday. The federal mandates are in place at almost every health care facility in the country, including these four big ones in Minnesota. Esme Murphy has more from the attorney taking on the workers' case. I represent 188 health care workers that are going to be terminated if they refuse the vaccine. Attorney Greg Erickson says he expects up to a thousand more workers could join the suit. We have a massive catastrophic nursing shortage. What do you think is going to happen if we terminate a significant portion of the nursing population in the state? The Minnesota Nurses Association said in a statement that they support voluntary vaccination programs and that, quote, mandates will continue to exacerbate staffing shortages. Does this lawsuit have a leg to stand on? It actually does. And I say Constitutional law professor David Schultz says the lawsuit has a particularly strong case when it comes to religious exemptions. The, the current U.S. Supreme Court, uh, which is basically 6-3 sort of conservative leading, has very much been very supportive of religious liberty arguments um, in the last couple of years regarding the pandemic. Children's hospitals told us 88% of their health care workers are fully vaccinated. At Mayo Clinic, it's 98% of doctors and 87% of staff. And at M Fairview, 80% of their staff is vaccinated. M Fairview told us they are confident that more of their health care workers will soon get vaccinated and that will help the hospital avoid the worker shortage that so many people are concerned about. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Alina told us 85% of its staff is vaccinated and that 10% received the shots after the mandate was announced. All the hospitals we contacted said that their deadlines for being fully vaccinated ranges from October 1st to November 1st.